Hi everyone, so I haven't posted it yet, but I did a reading about a week ago that was channeling a group of masculines that basically, you know, had their masks ripped off, they're, they're being forced out of their comfort zone, they're being pushed to make changes, there's lots of karma coming in, lots of, uh, you know, just rebalancing basically, and I'm going to post that reading um, probably within the next day here, it should be up, and then there's a part two of that reading that basically goes into so part one is is for everybody uh basically like letting you know what your person's going through where it's also just for the masculines just you know more in depth into themselves but i did do a part two of that reading that was mostly just for those that are actually in that masculine energy that are um identifying with that and going through those you know, major force life changes. They're really in conflict with themselves right now. Uh, lots of anxiety, lots of, they're not able to run anymore. Basically, their spirit guides are coming through, their higher self is coming through. Aspects of their personality, their emotional side, it's all coming through and they can't run, they can't suppress that side of themselves. That group of masculines is just really, really out of alignment. Um, but anyway, I just did that, that video. I'm going to post them both at the same time, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that part two of that, that reading, and it'll say part two on the front is, is mostly just advice for those masculines that are going through that. Um, of course you're welcome to watch that reading. You know, anyone's welcome to watch any of, any of the readings, of course, always, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that you might find that reading boring since it was mostly, it wasn't really about your relationship or connection with them. It wasn't really a love reading. It was just more advice for those masculines that are in that energy and kind of, you know, going more in depth into their, their subconscious, their, their current mental state. Um, and the reading did kind of, you know, go on there for a little bit because I really got in depth into, um, you know, what kind of changes they, they should make that might help them, how to make those changes, what might be blocking them. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that, you know, some of you might not find that reading very interesting if you're not in that energy group. But I did want to go ahead and do a reading for those of you that just, you know, you probably don't want to watch all of part two. It was pretty long. And again, it was just advice. But some of you do want to know, you know, what that energy is and, and what your person is going through. So I'm going to just do this shorter reading here to kind of, you know, touch on on that energy that I just picked up when I was doing that reading to give them them some advice on, you know, what life changes to make. And honestly, just bear with me. That reading was that took a lot out of me. That reading was absolutely chaotic. Um, I kept getting like these masculines like on the bed, like they're having it's just so much anxiety um and I don't even want to stay in this energy but I feel like I need to to put this reading out there and then I'm going to try to ground myself and clear myself so I can maybe do a, a calmer more balanced reading again in the, in the near future um because this one you know like I said this is probably going to be a little bit of a chaotic reading because I'm channeling their energy and it's going to make, make the reading you know most um I mean, it's most effective. Like I, I do need to channel their energy, but it, I'm also probably coming off in a very kind of neurotic, anxious way just because I'm feeling everything that they're feeling right now. And it's just, they're in so much chaos. I just, it's like when I was doing that reading, giving advice, like, you know, trying to give them advice, it's like, I was just feeling so much anxiety, so much stress, so much chaos. Like those masculines that are in that energy group are just really at war with themselves. They're fighting their higher self. There's there's basically just years of, you know, suppressed trauma, suppressed emotions, um, other aspects of their personality that are coming out all at once that are just demanding to be heard. Um, like we've gotten in previous readings for this energy group, you know, they they didn't want to do things the easy way. They, they insisted on doing things the hard way. They kept fighting themselves. They kept suppressing things. And that's what happens. Eventually you, you get to that breaking point. But but damn, like the re the energy I get from these masculine, it's just so much chaos and anxiety. Just really like I just keep seeing like the like a masculine like on um like I see this guy like on like a bed and he, it's almost like he's in fetal position. I keep it in that that image and I see all these spirits around him. Like I get this visual of like his higher self, his spirit guides, and they're all trying to help him. They're all trying to give him advice 
on, you know, what baby steps to take to get himself in a better position to get, you know, they're trying to bring abundance in, they're trying to bring blessings in, they don't want him to miss out on these blessings that they had in store for him. They're trying to help him heal, get on a better path. And he's like, he's just fighting them so hard. He's fighting his higher self. He's fighting, you know, this other side of his personality, this emotional side that he wanted to suppress. It's like he's giving himself so much anxiety and so much stress right now. Um, like it's almost going to pour into the physical if he's not careful. He needs to like mentally, he is just... He needs to stop fighting himself. He needs to rest. He needs to, to heal. Um, in that video I was doing, I was almost getting someone that was like panicking and like drowning. But, you know, like when someone's like drowning, it's like they, they like they panic, but they're doing it to themselves. If you just relax, you're going to float and you're going to be OK. But it's it's almost like I get this energy with these masculines. They're just in such a neurotic energy, just so in their head, maybe going through insomnia um, that they're just like. They're like panicking and then like if they just calm down, they'll be okay. If they relax, they ground themselves. If they just get on board with their spirit guides, get into alignment. They're so out of alignment right now. Their chakras are doing something crazy right now. Their chakras are unbalanced. But yeah, if they rest and they heal and they get on board with their spirit guides, with their higher self, if they stop fighting themselves... And we, in that video, we were kind of going over how they really need some counseling because for some, they have traumas that are just way too deep for them to start trying to heal on their own. Like they really do need some kind of mental support and guidance to take those baby steps towards healing. But, you know, the first step is they just need to finally be willing to be wrong, be willing to um, admit that they need help, admit that they might not be not might not be right all the time, kind of surrender, you know, at least part of their ego um, get into alignment with themselves, stop trying to fight themselves and stop trying to suppress, you know, these other aspects of their personality, really, you know, embracing this other side of themselves, trying to in integrate their, their logical and emotional side. Um, also, you know, the spiritual and physical mind, uh, and soul, like integrate all these different parts of themselves so they can be back in balance. Cause right now these masculines are just so in balance. They're so at war with themselves. So, so yeah, they really need to start um, taking accountability and taking those baby steps towards healing. But anyway, while I was tuned in that energy, I just wanted to do a reading for you guys so you don't have to sit through that whole, you know, hour plus long reading. You know, again, that's, that's probably only going to be interesting to you if you're the one that's, that needs to do the healing work, then there's a lot of advice, but it wasn't really a love reading. It was just primarily based on, um, what you know what shadow work needs to be done and 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 all that but anyway so how are they feeling about you and the connection right now seven of pentacles I just get chaos and anxiety it's just oh seven of pentacles the sun how are these masculines feeling about their person right now four of pentacles nine nine of wands Six of Cups, King of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Can you guys see these? Okay, kind of. <laughs> the Devil. <laughs> Sorry, here. <laughs> Let me see. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that kind of works. Yeah, I think it's kind of just summing up a lot of what I got in that longer reading, which again is is more for them, like, you know, for the masculines that need that, that, that additional detail on like, you know, what, like how to change, what needs to be changed, how to change, like, because a lot of them are very lost and confused. They know they need to change, but it's like they don't, they're so in the dark, they don't know what the next step, step is to take. But this is just reiterating some of the details from that reading for those of you that just want a shorter one. Um, I am going to do, I know some of you asked for a new love reading too. I'm going to do a reading on new love as well for you guys soon here too, maybe like within the next day or two. But anyway, yeah, I is kind of saying the same thing in that reading where it's like they're sabotaging themselves. They want to blame everybody else for their own actions, but it's really them because it's like they planted the seeds for something. It's like they want something to manifest with you or just in general in their life. They want good things to manifest, but then it's like the sun comes in which is the happiest card in the deck. And it's like their spirit guys are trying to bring in this abundance, this all this good energy. 
but they're not willing to let go of their control issues. Four of Pentacles is like somebody holding on to holding their emotions back, holding on to a certain way of being, holding on to a certain perspective. It's pride, it's stubbornness, it's not wanting to admit when they're wrong, not wanting to apologize, just holding on to, you know, just holding themselves back. But it's like they have all this abundance that's trying to come through. But it's like when it does come through, it's like they they stick to their old comfort zone. Do they try to? Again, in past readings, we, you know, we, 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 we've been getting recently, it's like they can't stick to their comfort zone. Their, their comfort zone's being taken from them. Nine of Wands can be like the wounded warrior. Oh, that makes sense to me too, actually, because we see that the Nine of Wands is like a final battle, but it's also somebody who's really close to the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back, like they just can't take anymore. And so I feel like this man is, I feel like he projects his past relationships onto you. Now this could even be mother or father issues that he projects onto you, onto this feminine. Like he might actually take issues that he has with a father or with a mother out onto you. Like he might actually kind of use you as a punching bag and like blame you for things that you didn't even do that maybe happened to him in childhood. For others, I feel like it's also just about like his, his relationships with, you know, his exes in the past. Cause it's almost like, with this wounded warrior here, it's like you see how he's looking at the four of pentacles, where it's almost like all this abundance, this happiness, true love, financial blessings, like all this good energy is trying to come in for him. These life changes, because right now this masculine's at a crossroads and he doesn't really have, um, he kind of has to make a decision now. He can't really go one way or, the, you know, he, he can't stay, um, He's had opportunity, chance after chance after chance, and his spirit guides really don't have a lot of patience left for him. So these masculines are, are going down a karmic path or they're going down a, a destined path where they can have the happiness that they want. They can have the success that they want. Um, and it's not saying that someone can't go down a karmic path and eventually come back to their destined path. Of course they can. Your spirit guides will try to redirect you. But there might be certain blessings that are on this destined path that this masculine's not going to get if he goes down a karmic path. Like he might not have the same ch opportunity down the road with this, this woman or like maybe like there's a financial blessing, but it's like the opportunity is now like this financial blessing wants to come in the next couple months, but he might miss that boat. Um, so it's like, yeah, he could go down a karmic path and come back around later to his destined path, but he's going to miss out on certain blessings. There's going to be certain things where it might just be too late. Um, you know, for some, you'd still give him another chance, you know, months down the line. But for others, you're at that point where you're like, no, it's it's now or never. You know, all of you are in, are in different spots right now. But um but yeah, anyway, it's like he's with this wounded warrior energy. It's like he's looking at this four of pentacles and it's like he feels this abundance coming in. But it, it's like that's what we're getting in that, in that reading, too, where it was like he just sabotages himself so much. He's his own worst enemy. Or it's like, nope, like I feel good things coming in, but I don't trust good things. This is too This love is too good to be true. This financial offer is too good to be true you know, just, just self-sabotage. So he holds on to his control issues, to his pride, his fear, his stubbornness. Cause he's like, I can't be the 10 of wands again. I can't, you know, he's trying to, he thinks he's protecting himself when in reality, he's actually just blocking himself from the blessings and the love that he's wanted for so long. He's just sabotaging himself, but his mind works against him so much that he actually thinks this is protection. He thinks these control issues are helping him when it's like, it's actually just like hurting him. I heard for some, they might be dealing with like alcohol or drug addiction too. Cause I just heard, um, that, what was that? It's like a quote I heard. It's first, first the man take, I, I don't know what it is exactly, but I think it's like first the man takes, takes a drink of alcohol and then eventually the alcohol takes the man. It's kind of like, I heard something like that too, where it's, it's like this kind of sneaky devil energy where he's he thinks it's it's he thinks he's doing the right thing. He thinks he's protecting himself. He's really hurting himself and blocking the sun and blocking out happiness, light, abundance. Um, I do feel like he misses this feminine. There is a sense of nostalgia here. There is this longing here, but it's almost like he's rejecting this help to be the king of pentacles and he's staying in this devil energy, subconscious patterns, sabotage, defense mechanisms, pride, ego, fear. 
Page of Cups, the Lovers, the Moon, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, the Hermit. I'm just running out of room, so I'm putting them wherever. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Ten of wow, that's a really interesting energy. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords right next to each other. Wow. I think some kind of truth that was hidden just came out, and I feel like they're heartbroken over it, honestly. I feel like with the lovers here too, the lovers can be like soulmates, twin flames, but it can also be about making a choice. And I feel like with them being in a hermit mode, like they're kind of isolated right now. Um, like I was saying, we got that in previous readings where it's like, they're going to try to, well, they're, the energy they're in now, it's like, it's just chaos. They are just in a really bad mental place right now. And I feel like many of them are trying to distract themselves, but they're not going to be allowed to distract themselves and run from this. Their spirit guides are like, no, you're, you're doing the inner work now. You're healing now. You're getting on a better path now. You're getting in alignment now. You're embracing your emotional side and balancing it out with your logical side. You know, you can't have one without the other. It just doesn't work. Over time, you eventually just cave, you explode. But um, yeah, I, I just feel like with this hermit energy, though, it's like they're forced to make some kind of choice. It's like they're isolated. Like I said, they're not going to be able to distract themselves. If they try to distract themselves from doing the healing with like third parties with karmics, it's just, it might feel good for a week or two and then there's going to be drama. They're going to find themselves in an even worse situation. Like it's, their spirit guides are, there's divine intervention. Their spirit guides are not allowing that anymore. They're not allowing them to run anymore. Um... And I think they know that they have a, ch a choice to make when it comes to love, too. Do they want the Ten of Cups or do they want the Ten of Swords? That's also what they're in their head about. Because this is like a really crucial time for you guys where they're, this, they're in this awareness that they're like, okay, the choices I make could either lead to me getting my heart broken into Ten of Swords, like to this connection ending, or to just just a lot of pain, a lot of... Like some of them don't know if you're done with them or not, or or they feel that you're about done. They feel like there's some kind of truth that was revealed here where they can kind of sense your energy that you're not doing this shit with them anymore, that they have to show up correctly if they want you. They have to really make a big effort. You might have been patient in the past with them, but now you're at that point where you're not really very patient anymore and they have to really show up like... Like, I'm sorry, I'm willing to change. I do love you, actually. I do want this. Like, they have to be vulnerable if they want this. They have to make an effort or they know at this point that they're going to lose you. That you're not going to do this forever with them anymore. You're not, you know, so they're in hermit mode right now. They're really thinking about this. They're like, okay, so like the choices, it, it's like a lot of pressure on them, which is good. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's like, it's time that the pressure was on them and not on you. It's like this, this feminine energy has had the pressure on her long enough. It's time for the ball to be in this man's court instead. You know, it's his turn. It's his turn to make the effort. It's his turn to be vulnerable. It's his turn to show love. And I think he just has this awareness that his actions, whatever actions he takes next towards you, are either going to lead to Ten of Swords, to you just being like, fuck this, I'm done, I don't trust you anymore, I don't believe in you anymore, like, you just betrayed me, you ripped my heart. This is like a lot of heartbreak. This is like, this feminine probably cried over a hundred times over this man. She could have cried a thousand times for all I know. Like, this is, this is like major, Three of Swords and Ten of Swords, that's like major heartbreak. That's like betrayals, loneliness, just deep, deep pain. I don't think this masculine even knows the extent of how much pain he caused this woman, of how much she loved him, of how much she believed in him, of how much, how hard it was for her, just how painful it was for her being separate from him, being pushed away, having him push her away, um, having him not be affectionate. Uh, having him take her for granted or entertain third parties, not be loyal to her, not make time for her, not just give her just the basic bare minimum attention, affection, just what everyone wants, you know? But anyway, I feel like, yeah, I feel like with the hermit card here, it's like he's realizing that his choices, whatever choices he makes next are going to lead to this connection either being over, like he knows that if he stays in hermit mode, like if he just 
ghosts her and doesn't say anything for months or if he just does the same shit and tries to chase third parties and see what else is out there he knows she's most likely done or they could he could have everything he's ever wanted with her ten of cups abundance true love home maybe even a family for some of you that are wanting that um happiness like getting on the same page working together being patient and understanding and gentle with each other you know, true love, like he could have everything or he could have nothing. He's coming to this awareness of just, it's good that he's coming to this awareness because I think in the past he didn't really, something has shifted where he's taking this more seriously, where I think in the past he just took you for granted. He thought this woman would just always be there. And now he's coming to this awareness that like, oh shit, like I really have like a final choice to make here. Do I want 10 of swords or do I want 10 of cups with this woman? Do I want this to end or do I want happily ever after with her? Because he knows that she's really close to walking away if she hasn't done so already. Maybe for some she's already walked away and he's aware that he's going to have to really make a big effort to get her back, to get her to trust him again. Maybe he's really broken her trust. Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about how he's feeling. Justice, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. Wow, I just started feeling dizzy out of nowhere. This energy is like, I didn't even want to stay in this energy. The energy that masculines are feeling is just, whew, it's a lot. <laughs> but as I, you know, I went into that in, the, in that other reading, it was like, they don't have to do that to themselves. They really, they can get counseling, they can get help, they can do the healing they can, they can take baby steps. Like, I don't think, some of them don't realize that, like, their divine feminine and also their spirit guides, their higher self, they'll work with them as long as they're making the effort. It's when they're sabotaging, pushing things away, that's when the, the feminine's like, no, fuck this, not doing it. Or when they're just viewing relationships as some kind of game that they have to win. She's not, she's not doing that. You can't be vulnerable with somebody who just sees relationships as some kind of game that you have, they have to win because they're going to gaslight you. They're going to manipulate you. They're going to try to one up you. They're not, you know what I mean? It's like when you're vulnerable and, and open with somebody like that, they just see it as like, oh, cool. I have her or like, oh, cool. I can do whatever I want. I can take her for granted. And this feminine's aware of that. So she's not going to be vulnerable unless he gives her a really good reason to be. And she feels safe being vulnerable with him. Some of these masculines are honestly going through psychosis and I can't, you know, full disclaimer, I cannot diagnose mental health issues. Some of these masculines do have a, um, I oh got him here. They have, they have an undiagnosed mental health issue is what I'm getting for some, not for all, only take it if it resonates, but for some, they actually have an undiagnosed, like like bipolar or something like that, or like, I'm getting schizophrenia. That's for someone specific. That's not for anybody that I know. I don't know anyone that's, I mean, not that I, I've met people that are schizophrenic, no offense, but I mean, I'm getting that the schizophrenia thing that I'm picking up, that's for somebody that like, I'm, I've never talked to before. So I don't know who that's for. That's for some random person that's going to be on my channel. But I'm getting, honestly, some of them have like undiagnosed mental illness. Um, and we really went, we didn't go into like mental illness so much in that other video, the part two that I did, but I, I did get, uh, you know, I was getting that energy of them really needing counseling because they have such deep childhood traumas that they need that help unpacking it. And they need the guidance and support of a counselor to keep them on track so they don't sabotage themselves and go back to square one because some of them like really are their own worst enemy. And when they come out of their shell, they expect things to be a certain way. They still have those control issues. And if things aren't exactly how they think they should be, they go right back to their shell. And so a counselor will help them with that and guide them to you know, have a more open-minded perspective and a more, be more balanced, more in tune with themselves, more in tune with their emotions, balancing their logical and emotional side. But this energy is just giving me like anxiety. It's so heavy what they're feeling right now. Jeez, it's like making me dizzy. I was about to take a nap, honestly, after I, um, after I did that reading, that last one. Um, just bear with me, guys. Like I said, the energy is just really, it's a lot that I'm channeling, you know, because I'm primarily, I primarily channel. I mean, the cards help me a lot, but I still feel like what helps me the most is I feel the energy. I might get visuals. Um, I can pick up on their energy. Like if they're feeling anxious, I feel anxious. Or if they feel sad, I might feel sad. Or I might just like kind of know things like it just kind of, you know, there's different, 
you know, look into the four clairs, clairsentience, clair, clairsentience, clairvoyance, claircognizance, and uh, clairaudience. So anyway, anyway, that was off, tr off track, but, but yeah, it's like, because I sound neurotic right now, right? And it's like this energy that I'm feeling from them. It's just like they are in chaos. They are like in their head, anxiety, insomnia, sleepless nights. Wow. Okay, tell me more about this justice, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they're also really in deep regret because they realize that this divine feminine is what they prayed for. It's almost like this was like, they're realizing that she was a blessing in their life. They overlooked that blessing and now they're really regretting that because I just feel like with like the justice and the Ten of Pentacles, it's like they really just, they wish they hadn't taken that for granted. Because they're realizing that now, they're realizing this was like a divine union that their spirit guides brought this, this union in, brought this person into them, that they could have had everything with them, love, money, abundance, and they're recognizing that they're the ones that messed this up. Nine of, nine of swords, you know, insomnia, anxiety, sleepless nights. How else are they feeling about this connection? Yeah, just lots of anxiety because they know they have to make a choice. Page of swords. Some of you might get a message from this person, but it's honestly going to be. Well, it's actually. My... Let me see. What's this message going to be? Yeah, I think that, tell me more about the Three of Wands in the Tower, actually, hold on. The High Priestess, Death, okay. Yeah, the Three of Wands is about, like, waiting for your ships to sail in, and I think that they're coming to this awareness that if they stay, if they don't want to step up and be in a masculine role and pursue you, they're realizing that they're going to lose you. Tower moment, conflict, drama, chaos, changes, like, they're realizing that if they just wait for things to come to them, if they just, if they sit in this more submissive role, they're going to lose you. And especially because you know things now, things have come to the surface with the high priestess. She knows everything, but she might not speak on it. But I feel like what she's spoken on or what she's revealed has caused a transformation in this person or they're wanting to transform at least. So I feel like they might message you. It might not be quite as romantic and emotional as you would like. Like, I think that you really do need to, I don't think she's, this high priestess, she's not going to entertain like, oh, can I, you know, what's up? Like, she's not going to entertain that. But I feel like she will be balanced. Like if this person is coming through and saying, hey, like, I, you know, I know I messed up. I want to treat you better. I want to work on myself. Like if they're acknowledging their faults, at least, if they're acknowledging where they messed up and they're making that commitment to change instead of just blaming everybody else and not taking accountability, I think that's a good start at least. Um, but they know they have to say more than just hate what's up. They know at this point, she's not, she's not doing small talk. You know, they know that they have to take accountability. They know that they have to, um, make some kind of effort here to, to, you know, build three of pentacles, like working together to get on the same page with her. She's not willing to take on all the weight of this relationship on her own anymore. She's not going to be vulnerable with him. If he's not vulnerable with her, she's not going to pursue him. If he's not pursuing her, she's not going to, you know, and for some, it's like she can't even see him as a real man anymore because of this. She's gotten to that point where she's like, you're going to have to prove to me that you're a real man again, because right now I don't see you as a real man anymore. I don't I don't see you as a protector or a provider. I just see you as somebody who ripped my heart out again and again and again. I just see you as somebody who entertained third parties. I just see you as, as somebody that I can't trust. Like maybe she used to see him as her best friend, her family, love of her life. And now she's like... Maybe deep down she still sees him that way, but she's also seeing more like just all the heartbreak. There's so much pain that he's caused, you know? Um, but yeah, she's not willing to take on all the weight of the relationship again. He's going to have to make equal effort, maybe even more effort at this point to kind of balance it out because she's had to make so much effort in the past. But he's going to have to pursue her. He's going to have to make, he's going to have to, you know, express feelings, show her how to show her that he, she's important to him. Like he's going to have to do a lot more than what he's been doing if he wants her to be responsive at this point. But yeah, I think there is some message coming in here about him wanting to, um, to build something here. 
because eight of wands can be about communication. It can be travel messages. He might be wanting to travel towards you. Pages can also be about messages. Swords are about communication, but they're, it's also like logic and, and you know, that what, what not. If I got like a page of cups, it might be like a romantic message, but page of swords is more like more logical. But again, I think that you will be receptive as long as they're taking accountability and like saying, Hey, like, I'm sorry, I haven't treated you well. I want to work on things. I want to be better for you. I have some traumas I'm dealing with, but I'm actually willing to face these traumas now. I want to make these life changes. You know, will you be by my side through that? Will you, you know, help me through that? Will you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do right by you. And I think as long as he's being open and vulnerable like that, I think that she will be, you know, still maybe a little bit guarded and, and unsure and scared, but she will be more open just as long as, just as long as he's, um, you know, again, taking accountability and, and making effort towards her. But yeah, he knows there's like this sense of urgency because he knows that he's going to lose her if he doesn't do something soon. He knows that her perception on this is changing every day. You know, she's becoming more and more guarded daily. She's becoming more and more kind of seeing from a different perspective daily. The Fool and the Magician. Why the Eight of Cups? Five of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Why? Hmm. The Magician can be magic, but it can also be somebody like stepping into their power. I almost feel like this person has like a fear. It's like they want this new start, but they almost have a fear of stepping into their power. They feel like stepping into their power is like like just leads to loss and heartbreak, abandonment. They're like, you know, can I really get to this wish fulfillment? But again, that's kind of, you know, what I went into with, uh, it's, it might not be up yet. I don't know when I'm going to post this one, but so that other reading might not be up quite yet, but it's going to be labeled part two. And that's the advice for the masculine where I kind of went into the self-sabotage thing and, and just kind of helping them through that, helping them figure some of that stuff out. But yeah, but yeah, it's like almost one of those, like, sabotage things where it's like they feel like if they're you know in this magician energy if they're in their power they're they're afraid that's just going to lead to loss and heartbreak but again that's just their mind working against them they're going to have to well I don't want to reiterate too much because we got into that in the other reading already ace of pentacles tell me more about how they're feeling Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, the Empress. They see you as above them almost. They see you as like this Empress in themselves as like a page, like almost like childish. But there is a, a lust for you, like a sexual energy here, which might actually be surprising to you because this person might not have been very sexual or very romantic with you. Seven of, why the Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands? Hmm. Son of Swords, it's like, it can be like cheating. It can be like deceptive energy. Five of Wands. They could have another woman around them that's trying to block this that they need to cut out. Like this woman that doesn't want to see this couple together. I could also take it to be, um, because I'm getting a couple different messages here. For some, it's almost like they don't like that you're coming into your power because they feel like you're above them. Which is ridiculous. It's like, because you, you used to see them as an equal. You know? But it's like they don't want to... It's just such a strange energy. It's like they... Like you're in their... You're in your power almost and they don't... It's like they don't trust it. You know what I mean? They're like... They're like, what is... <laughs> Ugh. I'm actually getting another message, so I want to do a separate video. I'm just going to start, like, you know, just check back for that. I'm going to post them at the same time. But, yeah, because I want to I want to go more in depth into that, but that's going to be, like, a whole other message because this reading was mostly about just they're panicking. They're really freaking out right now. They don't want to make these life changes. They do not want to. They have to, though. They have to. Their spirit guides are forcing them with or without you in the picture. It makes no difference. They have to make these changes. They're not going to be able to run. If they try to run, they're going to be met with more conflict, more drama, more chaos. It's not going to go well for them. They're going to be forced to be isolated for a bit, probably at some point. 
or if they do entertain karma because it's like they might feel good for a couple of weeks and then it's going to crash it's going to be just chaos it's it's not going to go well with third parties for them mm -mm. and that's divine justice too they don't they're not gonna no they're not doing that But yeah, I want to do a separate reading because I'm getting that some of them don't like that you're coming into your power. It's like they don't trust it. Like they think that she's sneaky and it's like she's not doing anything except being her powerful self. And they're like, Ugh, what a ridiculous person. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y you know, it, <laughs> this person just needs to change their perception. They need to be a little bit more. This empress is doing nothing wrong. You know, if she's the queen of swords, he made her the queen of swords. She was probably the queen of cups before, but she probably had a reason to have to become the queen of swords because this man was not giving her a safe space to be romantic and emotional and vulnerable. He was not taking her feelings seriously. The more vulnerable she was, the more he probably took her for granted and hurt her. And she saw that pattern. So now she's probably afraid to express emotion or be vulnerable with him because she just feels like it's just going to lead to her getting her heart broken. I don't think she sees him as a real man anymore. I think she might want to see him as a real man. She might want to believe in him again, but I don't think she really does at the moment. He hasn't given her anything to work with. But um, anyway, I'm going to post this and I'm going to do another reading. So check back for that. It'll be posted. It's the one that's going to be posted at the exact same time as this one. 